morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic SIM cards and overview. A SIM card or subscriber identity module is a small card in your cell phone that connects you to the network. Here is a representation of SIM card. Your SIM card contains your phone number and lets you make phone calls, send text messages and more. Types of SIM card SIM cards have evolved over the years and come in several sizes including mini SIM card. Here is a representation of mini SIM card. The size of the mini SIM card is 25mm cross 15mm. Then micro SIM card. Here is a representation of micro SIM card. The size of the micro SIM card is of 14mm cross 12mm. Then we have nano SIM card. Here is a representation of nano SIM card. The size of the nano SIM card is of 12.3mm cross 8.8mm. Here are three basic sizes of SIM card, the standard, the micro and the nano SIM cards. Of the three, the standard is the original SIM and the largest. Today, these are mainly used on older phones. The micro SIM card is essentially a standard SIM card with the extra plastic around the circuit board trimmed off. Here is a representation of the SIM card insert and taking. Pin diagram details of SIM card is shown here. Pin number 1 of the SIM card is VCC. Pin number 2 is Reset. Pin number 3 is Clock. Pin number 4 and 8 are optional. That is for USB pad. Pin number 5 is Ground. Pin number 6 is VPP. Pin number 7 is for IU. Function of the SIM card. Pin number 1 is VCC that is used for connecting to the phone's power supply. Pin number 2 is to reset the SIM if required. Pin number 3 is clock. It provides the SIM with a clock signal for its processor. Pin number 4 and 8 are reserved for future uses. Pin number 5 is to ground the chip. Pin number 6 can be used to communicate with an NFC enabled mobile phone. Pin number 7 controls the interaction between the phone and the SIM. One of the most important jobs of the SIM card is to identify you as the genuine owner of the subscription. So, if you make a call, send an SMS or share a photo or video, the SIM tells the phone which network to use and it tells you our network to bill you for the services you use. It can do this thanks to the IMS, that is International Mobile Subscriber Identity Number and an authentication key that validates the IMS. When you turn on your phone, it obtains the IMSI from the SIM and sends this to your network. Your network then looks up the IMSI in its internal database and also searches for your IMSI's authentication key. The network then generates a random number we will call X and assigns it with your authentication key to generate a new number Y. The network then 
sends AX to your phone, which in turn forwards it to the SIM. The SIM then signs it with its authentication key to create a new number called Z. Z is then sent back to the network. If the network's number Y matches the SIM card's number Z, then the SIM card is declared legitimate and you can give an access to the network to make calls and use data. Though this process is complicated, it only takes a few seconds and has the added benefit of you being able to make your SIM with you if you want to change phones. That is, if they are not SIM locker and carry on using your network services. Let us see the process takes place in SIM card. Now, we are having a phone and we are opening the SIM card tray. Now, the SIM card is inserted in the phone. As soon as the SIM card is inserted, depending on the signal strength, the tower is indicated in your phone. That is, the signal strength of your cellular network is indicated in terms of tower. Importance of SIM card. Without the SIM card, your phone is not able to connect with the cellular network and can only function as an internet device. That is, the lack of a SIM card does not prevent your phone from using Wi-Fi, that is wireless fidelity. Validity of SIM card. SIM cards last for between 10 and 14 years and you might need to change it, not because it has expired, gone bad or is unusable, but because there is probably a newer and faster broadband cellular network. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.